All right, here we go. I am 39 weeks pregnant, which means I'm officially full term. Um, I am very excited and scared and nervous and a gazillion emotions all wrapped into one. Um, I still have yet to get rid of a bunch of furniture over there, and then I have more stuff over there that I gotta get rid of now, and I have a list probably a mile long of things that I want to get done before maybe brother comes, but honestly, I'm trying to just come to terms with the fact that I'm probably not going to get everything done that I want to get done, and I just I need to be okay with that. Um, anyway, the baby is the size of, I think, a watermelon. Um, they say he's anywhere between 7 to 9 pounds, I believe, which I believe because he, I, I just, I, I feel huge. Um, but at the same time, I had this epiphany moment earlier this week where I, um, where I just like suddenly had this realization that like he might not be like this big giant baby that we've been counting on him being. Um, I don't know. It's just weird because with this pregnancy and my last pregnancy, they've just been so different. With this time around, I have been exercising, I've been eating better in general than I did my last pregnancy. I have, um, I haven't gained as much weight. I think my total weight gain at this point is like five pounds or something like that. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm 39 weeks and I've still been working out uh, at least, at least six days a week, m anywhere between like five and six days a week, which I'm actually really proud of. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot different. So I don't know. I had this just magic moment where I was just like, what if he, he might not be like this big giant baby like we think we, he is. So I went out and I picked up some newborn stuff and um, now at least he has some clothes that if he isn't this big baby that we thought he was going to be, at least he has something that he'll fit into because prior to that, all I have was zero to three month clothing and like I said, if he's not like this big giant baby, then <laughs> he's going to be like drowning in his clothing. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of playing the waiting game at this point. Um, people are, I feel like we're getting impatient almost. I got a bunch of text messages today asking like if there was any update or progress with baby boy. And I'm like, nope. Uh, doctor checked me this morning and I was a centimeter in about 45 to 40% phased, which is... An improvement to last time, I was only, although I was still only a centimeter, I was only like 25% phased. So, moving along slowly but surely. Um, I think the one who's most actually uh, impatient is probably Riley. She comes up to my belly a good gazillion times a day and it's like the cutest thing ever. She'll come up to me and she'll look at my belly and she'll go, baby brother, if you come out now, we can play. Or baby brother, if you come out now, we can cuddle. She's just really excited at this point. Um, and it just, it warms my heart. I'm so like, I don't know. She's just so freaking cute. Um, what else? I don't know what else to update on really. Um, I'm going to start looking into things to get labor going, I'm gonna pick up a pineapple and some spicy foods and I don't know, anything else really. I'll probably Google and look to see if there's any other um, things to help get labor going. Uh, I've mentioned it in several of my vlogs. I haven't really, I don't think I really talked about it too much in my last bump date though, but I'm really upset and irritated with my doctor's office. So even though I'm not really done being pregnant, which is a whole other thing. I don't know. We were talking about it the other day with Jake, and this very well could be my last pregnancy, um, like, ever. I could... I don't think we're going to have a third child. You know, we kind of been talking about it. I don't think we'll go on and have a third child. So this very easily could be my last pregnancy and the last time I have a belly and the last time I feel movement and the last time, you know, just the last time being pregnant and it's very bittersweet. So I'm holding on to the last bit of my pregnancy, but like I said, I, I'm over the doctor's appointments things and I'm overseeing the doctor. I'm over going to the OB all the time and I'm over that part of the pregnancy, but I still very much like, I'm still very much enjoying being my, my last bit of time being pregnant. Um, so yeah. But other than that, I don't know if there's much to update on. I don't have another appointment until next Thursday because my doctor's office can't get their crap together. Um, at that point, I will almost be 41 weeks. 
I hope I don't make it to 41 weeks. I really hope he comes within this next coming week, but who knows? Um, cause if I make it to 40 weeks, I don't know how much longer my doctor will make me go. I, I don't know. I very well could be sitting here doing a 42 week bump date. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's it. I don't know. My brain's a jumbled mess. I, I don't know at this point. I don't even, I, I can't think straight. I can't do anything right. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to do a bump date really quick, um, like a belly shot bump date, and I think that'll be it, because I need to go to sleep. <laughs> Alright, there's that belly. We'll do shirt up. Luckily, I don't think I've gotten any more stretch marks somehow. Um, at least not that I've noticed. And they haven't even deepened anymore, so that's kind of cool. Oh, you little baby brother. <laughs> Bye! Anyway, like I said, I think that's it. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I may or may not see you guys in a week. Who knows?